Now I'm going to ask everyone right now, in your heart of hearts, in the most serious mode you can be in, to think about what would your life be? What would it be like if you were a priest, a brother, or a sister? You know who I was most scared of? My classmates. Now, St. Rita, when I went to St. Rita, was 1,600 boys on the south side of Chicago. And I was afraid to tell my classmates because I was afraid they might make fun of me, that they might laugh at me. They say, what, what are you, a loser? What do you want to throw your life away? But sooner or later, I had to say something because everyone was saying, what are you doing next year? What are you doing next year? What are you doing next year? I had to do something. So I started telling people, and the response was unbelievable. People were saying, that's cool. People were saying, hey, you know, Tom, I can see that. And then they start calling me Father Tom. <laughs> not as a joke, not as putting me down, but as a term of endearment. And to this day, I have friends of mine from high school call me Father Tom. I said, guys, we went to school together. Call me Tom. They said, oh no, you're Father Tom. You're our Father Tom. I've married some of them. I've baptized their kids. Sad to say, I've buried some of them. And it's a privilege that I had. And here, these were the guys that I was afraid were going to laugh at me. And they didn't. I want to ask you a very serious question. To all of you at Austin Prep. What if you're at the lunch table and one of your friends, guy or girl, doesn't matter, say, you know what, I've been thinking I might want to check out becoming a priest or brother or sister. And they might be terrified by saying that to you. Would you laugh at them? Or would you say, hey, good for you? And maybe even say, you know what, I see in you a quality that would make a good priest, brother, or sister. Do you know that you might be the one that gives them what they've been praying for, a sign from God, and God might use you.